there is only one person who is in charge of the stability of the ship and cargo operations. This is the chief officer. The chief officer is the second in command under the captain. And soon will be the next captain. He shall be responsible to the captain for all aspects of ship's operations and shall be fully informed about all matters to safety the crew and the vessel. Cleanliness of the accommodation, cargo operations, and stability. He also stand as our on-scene commander during the monthly drill. The ship's office is the man's cave of the chief officer. This is his second room, basically for work. Here, he does all his paperwork and documents needed in port and ship's owner. This is also where he calculates the stability of the ship and the cargoes. And this is where he meet or work with the surveyors during discharging and loading of cargoes. By the way, anchoring is also part of his job responsibilities which is located in the forward part of the ship. He will stand here. The captain will give the command to chief officer, then relay it back after executing the command. Fun fact! Fun fact! Fun fact! Everybody put your hands in the air! Did you know that the chief officer is also known as Chief Mate? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he is the head of the tech department. The chief officer is also responsible for performing vessel navigation duties. One in the morning and one in the evening. At 0400 hours, the chief officer will start his navigation duty and take the command from second officer. Then afterwards, he will check the master's night order. At 0600 hours, the chief officer will get the gyro error of the sunrise to check if the position is on track via celestial navigation. Then after that, he will check the weather forecast. At 7.30 hours, the deck crew will come to the bridge to have a toolbox meeting. Here, the chief officer will give the job for the day and discuss the risk and danger of the job, which is also known as risk assessment. The bosun will delegate the job orders to the deck crew. After the toolbox meeting, the chief officer will continue his duty and fill out the official logbook. Then the third officer will come in at 0800 hours to take the navigation duty. 
then after the duty of the chief officer, he will go to the officer's mess room to eat his breakfast. At 0830 hours, he will be at the ship's office to check the ship's stability and to do his paperwork. At 10.30 hours, the chief officer will go at on deck. to check the crew if they are doing the job in safety manner. Because the chief officer is also the safety officer. At 1100 hours, it is time for the chief officer to take a rest. Then at 1600 hours, the chief officer will be back at the bridge for his noon duty as he takes the command again from the second officer. At 1700 hours, the third officer will replace the chief officer for a while as he goes for a dinner. At 17.30 hours, he's back again to his duty. Then at 19.50 hours, the chief officer will log all his navigation duties and observation before giving the command to the third officer. Then at 20.00 hours, the chief officer will give the command to the third officer. The turnover will be precise and accurate for the safety of navigation because safety is our priority. And that's it. That is the day of the chief officer in a bulk career. Hi guys! If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. And comment down below on what content should I make on the next video. Thank you!